<clears throat> All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo. This is a Yoga 7. 15 ITL5. All right, we're going to be using a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. You want to keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. So let's go ahead and remove those. All right, the way I keep them in order is I put them flat side down like that on my desk and the pattern I remove them. <coughs> so we got three going along here and then it looks like four going along down there. All right, I don't know if there's going to be any hidden screws, but for now it looks like those are all of them. <coughs> okay. Sometimes the manufacturers like to hide screws underneath the rubber feet here, um, but that's pretty close to where the screws already are, so I'm kind of doubting it. All right, These screws towards the front seem to be a lot smaller, so if you do happen to mix them up, hopefully that will help. All right, so let's get all these screws out. <clears throat> all right, now that we got all those screws out, let's see how we can pop this open. Usually what you got to do, or what helps with uh, for me, is I get my fingernails here and then I push with my thumb on the palm rest. Don't push on the touchpad, just the palm rest area. Okay, so I'm going to push like that. You can see it's opening up, just like that. Alright. Okay. Let's go over here as well. Okay. Oops, I need to shut it down. It, this laptop apparently turns itself on once it detects. Okay, so let me shut it down real quick. Okay, so it's shutting down, um, but there you go. Oops, sorry, I'm getting in here now, and we're gonna have to go up along the side. I need to make sure it shuts down, it's still on. <coughs> Kinda hate when computers do that, but here you go. You can see it popped open, pretty simple. Let's wait till it completely turns off. Okay, sounds like it's off. Um, I'm also going to clean it up because it is a little dusty here. We're basically just replacing the battery on this model. <clears throat> so the customer said for some reason it's only charging to 50%. Hopefully once we replace the battery it will be okay. Um, sometimes computers have like a little thing that controls like how long or how far to charge. Um, I hope that's not, what, not what's preventing it. I didn't see any setting like that in the BIOS. <clears throat> but it's possible, All right? So here's the replacement battery. Um, we're gonna have to open this up. Okay. And the battery doesn't look inflated or anything weird. Um, but anyways, here's the replacement. Um, they covered the Lenovo for some reason here. I don't know why, but you can see they put some tape over it and you can actually see it's indented. It says Lenovo there. <clears throat> okay, anyways. We're gonna go ahead and remove the battery screws. Okay, so there's one screw here, one screw in the middle. Okay, again, keep all the screws in order. Um, all right, come on, go. One screw up here. All right, and we got one screw down here. And one screw down here. All right, so we got all five screws out. We should be able to lift the battery up. Okay, hopefully there's no other hidden ones. Got that, and then we're gonna get under here. <clears throat> what I do is I get my finger underneath that connector and then one on top, and we kind of wiggle side to side as I pull, just like that, and there we go. So there's the battery connector. Battery model number is right here, L19C4PDC. Uh, hopefully it's the same because I went by um, the laptop itself, not this, L19. Uh, this is different, L19M4 PDC. This is L19C4 PDC. So it's different. Let's see, capacity 4,622 milliamp hours. So this has, the new one has a little bit higher milliamp hours, 71 watt hours. This is only 68.7. <coughs> uh, let's see, is there the voltage here? 15.36, um, also 15.36 volts. So this new battery should actually have better capacity. Um, it does look to be same everything else. So that's nice. We actually got a battery upgrade, slightly higher capacity. Um, this connector, you do need to kind of rotate it this way. As you can see, it's kind of like going straight that way. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the internals here real quick so we can kind of see. Um, you got the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery here. Okay, it looks like someone peeled this up before. It's not sticking down. Um, 
right? You got a cable going along there all the way to here. This looks like the speaker cable. You see it goes there all the way along down there and then goes all the way up to the speaker here. And then there's a cable running from that speaker, that tiny thing going all the way under to this speaker here. Right, so that's how they work. There's the LCD LVDS connector here. I'm not gonna mess with this. There's a flip latch connection there. If you're gonna mess with that, it's very important that you disconnect the battery and then press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds before messing with that. Wireless cards here to remove the antennas. You go from the tail and pull straight up. I have videos showing that on other models. I don't wanna mess with it because sometimes the connections break. You got the trackpad touchpad connector here with flip latch connection. You got this fingerprint connector here. All right, um, keyboard connection here with the flip latch there, uh, keyboard backlight connector there, flip latch there, and yeah, um, you got this little connector here connecting the I.O. board for the two USB ports, and the power button connects to this board, so that all goes to the motherboard there. All right, fan connector is here. Um, I'm going to clean this up using a um, toothbrush and then use an air blower, an electric air blower to blow that out. Um, one other thing to take note of, there is a little button here, which, uh, oh, here you go. The one key recovery button hole. So it's right there on the bottom cover and it pushes through right there. So I'm going to clean this up real quick and I'll be back. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back. So we cleaned up the fan. We're going to put the new battery and then reassemble this thing. All right. So again, you do need to curve the battery connector over. Actually, let me zoom in a bit to show this better. Okay, so this one, line that up, pinch that back in, okay, I like to pinch both sides to make sure that it's not putting all the force like one direction or the other, and then we're going to line this up, and we'll get the five screws back in, and we'll get the bottom cover on, and that's pretty much it. And yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out, if it did, again, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If I didn't already mention, these screws use a J1 or JS1 screwdriver. The ones on the outside were using a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. For some reason, I think I forgot to mention that. All right, anyways, we'll get the last screws in. And that's pretty much it. All right, last few, there we go. All right, bottom cover. There's a little trick to getting the bottom cover back on um, because there are these little tabs here so you actually have to slide this in first okay so line that up slide this in this is all bent up so it's a little bit going to be extra tricky but let's see let me rotate it this way so it's easier for me to see I'm going at an angle here let's see Come on. yeah it's going to be tricky with this it's getting caught on something here what is it getting caught on let it go okay get that in just like that okay Line everything up, and we're just going to push everything down. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and get the T5, Torx 5 screwdriver back, and put the bottom screws, and we should be good to go. Just power up the computer, and yeah. All right. Uh, is this screw going to be hard to put because of that bend? It's going to be hard to find where that... Yeah, I don't know if this is going to go back in because of that, the way it's bent there. Huh. Let me actually open this up and check real quick. I know this isn't going to be something everyone else is going to be dealing with, but I just want to see what's going on here. Oh, the screw, screw mount is completely gone. I'm going to kind of try and get all that loose stuff out. Yeah. <clears throat> So that screw mount is actually gone. And what happened was the screw was probably holding it up. And then uh, once we undid the screw, it kind of just fell back in, fell into there. All right, anyways, we're gonna get this back in. Sadly, that one screw is gonna have to be missing forever. Okay. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna pop all this back in, get the other screws back in. Since we can't do that last one, then we'll just power it up and make sure everything is good. The one thing with this is that hinge has less holding it, so um, I don't know. Hopefully it won't break in the future, but 
Yeah, all right, let's get the last few screws in. Should be good to go. All right. That's two. Then we'll power it back on. All right, and that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and flip this back over. Okay, open this up. And we'll power this guy on with the button on the side. might need to be charged. Let's see, it's USB-C. I'm gonna plug in this. Huh, it's not wanting to turn on. I'm gonna have to see if I can get their charger and test with that. We didn't disconnect anything else, so that's very strange. I hope it's not because it doesn't like the battery because then my customer's gonna have to wait for another battery. Uh, let's see. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and use the SIM eject tool to push the one key recovery button, see if there's anything. And I don't see anything happening. Uh, let me get their charger, I'm gonna test with that. If it doesn't work, then I guess we're gonna have to switch back the battery and see what's going on there. That's very strange. All right. I'll be back. All right, looks like Lenovo's just picky because after plugging in the Lenovo charger, it works. Oh, that's weird. The mouse is, the mouse stopped working and now it's working again. So I need to figure that out, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. I'm probably just gonna reseat the mouse cable. All right, let's drop this, bye.